So this is just a quick example of you know how this is happening. In first in the first phase, for example, phase one flow we have, let's say we have the the tidal conditions, let's say dropping or moving. So we have the position in the in the in a basinal uh, direction to the right, and let's say we have another phase where you now have a tidal increase or increase in 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 in, in in a tidal uh, uh, range or tidal conditions, in which case we now have erosion from the left and deposition on the erosion from the right and deposition on the left, or erosion from let's say a basinal area and deposition on the landward area, that will generate another set of cross beds that are dipping in opposite direction, and the whole process continues until we now have what we call an herringbone cross beds. So there are other cross beds called sigmoidal cross beds. Um, again, these are, I showed an example earlier on. These are just different variations of cross bed systems depending on where uh, the conditions or the tidal conditions in those environments and depending on whether you're going from the, the nip spring or to, this, uh, to, the, uh, to the nip tidal cycle to the spring tidal cycle and whether you have both, both cycles preserved in that area. So, reactivation surface is just one. Uh, signature also of tidal systems. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I have an example of how that is formed. So supposing at, uh, okay, this one is even better annotated. We have the land to the left and uh, the ocean or sea to the right, and that's the water level shown in green there. So we have, let's say, in the first phase, which we, which I, is called the ebb cycle. Ebb cycle because, again, like I said, the tidal cycle is falling or uh, it's, it's reducing. Uh, what we now have is the ebb tidal cycle, and there's erosion on the landward side and deposition on the on the basinal or the oceanward side. And what you now have is cross beds that are dipping towards the ocean. And then supposing we now have another episode of what we call some kind of flood cycle that destroys what has been, uh, you know, originally deposited. So these earlier four set plans are now eroded. And you now have some kind of planning of 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 uh, the pre-existing system, and then you now have another episode of ebb or another episode of ebb flow, which now you know kind of shows if you see another cycle of faucet planes dipping in the same direction of the as as the underlying um, or pre-existing um, faucet uh, planes or uh, faucet uh, units. Uh, so when that happens, you have different sets of, you know, you know, different bed sets dipping in the same direction, right? But separated by, you know, what you actually see clearly as, you know, bedding surfaces or, or bedding planes, really, right? So when that happens, the surface separating the both of them is what is called a reactivation surface. Okay, so now this second stage that causes um the erosion of the previous faucet yeah. before the deposition of um of the second faucet still in the same direction yeah is that still attributable to tidal effect or maybe there's another process that causes that erosion so in this in this context it is also tidal in this context but there are other environments there are other conditions that can also reach, uh, lead to creation of this same uh, configuration where, we, where you have a reactivation surface which is not due to tide where you have migrating dunes um, migrating dunes and let's say at a at one dune is migrating there's erosion and deposition and creation of faucet planes but before that episode is completed another episode advances rapidly and you know overtakes the first dune in front so what I when that happens is it erodes a pre-existing, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, bed sets and also faucet planes that are you know, already uh, deposited by the first set of dune. So when the second set of dune comes and erodes the pre-existing one and deposits its own, this configuration also, uh, you know, it's, it's it, you also have this kind of configuration created where you have, you know, some faucet planes dipping in one direction, but separated by some surface that shows some kind of reactivation of the same condition that, that deposited the first one. But in these very conditions, yes, it's also signatures of tidal settings. It's also a signature of tidal environment or tidal setting.
Okay, so okay. all right. So there are other um, sir is clear draped forms. Sorry? Sir? Yeah, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear okay, you. Okay, someone asks how is how is clear drapes formed? Okay, so the clear drapes are just periods where the energy is like it's like a quiet period. Now the way this thing happen, remember, is when you have the tide, tide is falling. It's not just one very rapid thing. It happens in episodes. There are periods where it is falling rapidly. There are periods where it's not falling so hard, right? So there are periods where it's falling rapidly, it's able to carry coarser or mid more medium size or fine grain size, uh, you know, uh, uh, sediment. In which case, will be more of sand or sandy. And between that, those periods of you know of, of of fall and the next episode there are moments where the energy level is very low where they're more like quiet periods when those during those quiet periods what you have is more of finer green muddy or more clay uh, uh um you know materials deposited on top of more like a you know pre-existing uh sandy components so those clay drips you are seeing are periods where there's like a quiet or low energy or low uh, low disturbance uh, conditions. Okay. So during when the energy and the velocity is low, what you have is more of the the fines or the the muddy components settling down quietly. And then when the energy or when the rate at which the the sea level is rising or falling, or when the rate at which the tide is rising or falling picks up again. It carries more of quasar materials and you know deposits them on top of what was originally muddy from the earlier quiet phase. Is that is that clear enough? Yes, sir. All right, great.